Welcome back everyone. I wanted to show you my Walgreens I bought a haul and my Walmart I bought a haul. I noticed I had Alme and Revlon rebates for Ibotta and there were clearance at Walgreens. So you can see it was $2.79 for the eye product that's usually $11.49. So now it's been confusing. I don't know if you've noticed this, but it'll say Revlon Alme in the same title. And when you scan the products for Revlon, sometimes they say not qualified. And that happened to me last week at CVS and I had to put a ticket in and they fixed it, but it seems like it, I don't know why it's not matching up, but so I went with the Alme because it did say it qualified. So there were $4 back on each eye product. I bought two items. So that was $2.79 twice. So it was a little bit of a money maker. So I was pretty happy about that because an item that's usually $11.49 was $2.79. And we haven't really had clearance Revlon or Alme along with the Ibotas as much as we, we did a while back. And it's always a good time to stock up. And then what I decided to do was do the Gillette Foamy deal. Um, they were buy one, get one 50%. It comes to a little over $5 and you get a $5 register reward. So I thought that was a really good deal to get a register reward that I'll probably use towards another deal, like maybe another deal for next week. And then I got a spend booster, a paper spend booster I haven't gotten in forever. And I think it's spend 25, get five. So I plan on pairing that with a digital booster. If I get one that's earning seven, I'll earn $12 back. So I'm going to hold on to that because I just got it. And let me know if you've been getting the paper spend boosters, because I know from shopping at Walgreens, I haven't been getting them. And I've heard a lot of people haven't been getting them. So maybe they're going to start popping out again. But this was a different store I haven't been to in a little bit. So I'm wondering if it's my regular stores are just not getting them, having them print. But that was a pretty good small deal. And I'm always looking for clearance. So I got $8 back on Ibotta for the two eye products. And it was a little bit of a money maker, but I was glad to um, get that $8 on the Ibotta account, you know, for pretty cheap. That's what I'm always looking for is items that are, you know, pretty cheap that you're going to get more money back on Ibotta. Then you can cash out to a gift card at whatever store you choose that's available. I usually go between Walmart and sometimes CVS. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have been getting the paper boosters or not, um, because maybe they're starting to come back out. And then I decided um, to go over and look for clearance at Walmart for the Christmas items. And I took pictures of some items that were on clearance, 75%. They had some stuff, not a ton. I was mainly looking for um, the gift card holders, especially the the tin ones or really nice ones, you know. I like to get them at 75 or 90 if I can, put them away for the following year. Um, so I was just looking around. I took some pictures of different things that were on sale. And I was in the regular clearance aisle. So this was $15, this one gift set, and it was 75. And then they had, I think they're metal letters that were in the Christmas aisle on clearance as well. But I did wind up only finding two items that I was looking for as far as um, Christmas um, items that I picked up. But... I don't know if much is going to last to 90% anyway. I got these two gift card holders. So they were pretty cheap. So I put them away. But 
if I get lucky and hit another Walmart in the next few days, if I can find some more, I'll put them away because um, these weren't the tin ones. I do like the metal ones if I can find them. So I'm going to keep an eye out. But I decided to do when I bought a haul while I was there. Now, the, the Travel Size Old Spice Body Wash. Buy three, get $5. Now, it's really supposed to be for full price, full size items. But once in a while, sometimes it counts for me, sometimes it doesn't counted. So that was a little bit of a money maker. I got the um, lemon spray, Purex crystals, and the Airwick scent. Now, so I wound up getting fourteen twenty-five back on this. And these are items I use. And then I got $8 from Walgreens for Ibotta. So $22.25 back on Ibotta between the two stores. So now I'll be cashing out. Once I hit um, $20 again, I'll cash out. So that won't take me much. And I got a $5 bonus that came out today. If I do 10 offers, I get $5 and I'm four offers away. So let me know if you've got any exciting Ibotta bonuses. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes it's like, forget it. <laughs> But I just wanted to bring this to you. And if you could do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. And that's pretty much it now.